You're reading some caffeine rage, and I'm joined by... Constantly Drowning, also known as Gaming Psychologist. <laughs> so you're giving yourself nicknames now. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> did what? Drown myself twice? Yeah. Like a big dummy? It was fun, it was fun. So yeah. I'm sure all of you remember yeah, this. Yeah, last watch, time. But... Oh, yeah, watch the spikes there. Oh, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> I still can't believe that. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It was fun. It was worth it. Good times. Good laugh was had. Yeah, uh, oh, oh. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I just grabbed this golden chest. And you grabbed it right out of the air as I was harvesting it. <laughs> Whoops. That's alright, well, the, the main thing uh, is... Uh, well, I was grabbing uh, it so we don't try to open it again. So, well, last time, uh, outside of you drowning yourself twice. <laughs> yeah, right there at the very end. I just lost the will to live, guys. I mean, if Actually, you want to go record something else, uh, we we can look at other games to play. I can't take it anymore. I mean, if you're that desperate to go play Factorio. Oh, that's you. Now yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got some good Factorio time in. I'm going to play, after we're done recording and I call my wife, I'm going to uh, go play some Factorio to round out my night. Watch a couple more episodes of Clone Wars. I mean, that was the main reason I wanted to record this earlier tonight. That's, you know, when I texted you, I said, well, I, I think I want to record uh, Terraria and then relax. Because it has been a, a very hectic few days, last few days for me, getting back from the trip and... Um, wait, do you have that as a weapon? Yeah. That's nice. Very confusing, though. Did it bounce? Yeah, mine bounces. Oh, that's cool. Anyways, getting back from the trip, having to rearrange my client schedule and fit a whole bunch of people in, and... Oh, here's something that I forgot to mention. Yesterday, uh, we had an emergency clinic meeting because we had our first ever um, intern ethical violation. Like, uh -oh. major one. Like, you know, because they're learning, they make little mistakes from time to time that we usually just don't care about. Like, oh, hey, probably should do this differently or whatever so that... You know, you don't get an ethical violation. That's kind of the whole part part of learning, you know, being a, a teaching. Um, the so the university where I counsel at is a, it's a teaching program, so you know, we have counseling interns and all that jazz. But anyways, so Wednesday we had to have a meeting because we had a client who uh, got or not a client, we had a, an intern who broke the law um, and did not make a call into child services like she was supposed to after her supervisor had told her to do it. Whoops. And um, it caused there to be some problems. Um, we uh, actually that spikes, had... by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I jumped up off the spikes. Ow. We actually had um, someone come out. They had to perform an investigation on uh, her supervisor. And we all, you know, obviously we have recordings and we keep very good records of things. And we had record where the supervisor had advised her to report to child services and she had not um, really a, a sad situation but we had to discuss what to do with the intern whether or not she was going to get expelled from the program or receiving some kind of other disciplinary action um, but all in all it worked out okay uh, oh you're kind of dead what just happened you were low health oh I guess I was distracted from talking I was about to say, you're kind of low health, and, you know, you kind of jumped on that, uh, you know. Alright, I was telling the story. It's all in the sake of, of content. Um, but so anyways, it all turned out okay. Oh boy, this is trouble. I'm coming. Oh, uh, we well, just there's just a ton of guys here. We gave her a, a warning, a, a written warning. 
which goes on her school record, which doesn't really mean much of anything, just um, it's, it's a three strikes and you're out violation, so she's gotten her first strike, and if she gets two more strikes, she'll get kicked out of the program then. Ooh, so it's the shoot. equivalent of being put on your permanent record. Yeah, but I mean, once she graduates from the program, it won't matter. I suppose if she wanted to go on and get her PhD, it might potentially be of some concern, but I don't think so. Wow, we have I mean, some I nasty uh, placement of uh, golden chests. There's another one here on spikes. I found one that had a shield in it. Uh, that's uh, uh, an accessory that's actually pretty good. The cobalt shield. Yeah, ah, get away from me. Yeah, you want to equip that uh, uh, accessory. Okay, what slot is it? it it's an in? accessory item. It goes in uh, one of the accessory slots. All my accessory slots are full. Trust me, you won the cobalt shield. Okay, okay. It, it prevents knockback. Um, I think I'll replace this, this, the fast runny boots for now. Oh, hey, I'm holding a shield. I don't, actually, I don't really know what I was expecting. It's called the cobalt shield. Well, you can disable that if you uh, don't like the look of it. No, I like it. Now I'm, um, a trashy prom queen with a, a shield. This is my protection. Wink. Ah, those are spikes. If you're a trashy prom queen, I'm shocked that you're using protection. Hey, trashy prom queens don't mind the STDs, they just don't want to be pregnant. Hey, if, uh, you didn't want, uh, if God didn't want you to have the baby, then he wanted to invent an abortions. <laughs> oh, I'm running so slow now, though. I was used to running fast. Yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out here, uh, waiting for you to catch up, so, uh, before you're heading deeper down. So, I guess I should tell my Reddit story while, uh, while we're here. Your what story? The Reddit one. Oh, Reddit. I think you said rabbit for a second. What'd you do to a rabbit? Tell me about the rabbits again, George. <laughs> So what's your Reddit story? Okay, well, you know that uh, while I'm rendering, a lot of times I go on uh, Mechanical Turk just to, you know, make a few extra bucks. Right. Well, I spotted a, 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 a Mechanical Turk, Turk job wanting people to upvote a particular uh, thing on Reddit. Okay. So, I pop over to Reddit and uh, say, hey, they're selling, uh, they're, wearing, they're buying upvotes here. You may want to look into this. Uh, I report it to the moderators. And I downvoted uh, the uh, post. Then I get banned for vote manipulation. Interesting. Because I guess technically they're right that I manipulate or uh, took part in vote manipulation because. Uh, I downvoted something that was uh, buying upvotes, but yeah, that's you know, a little stupid, isn't it? That doesn't make any sense. What? Not what you did. What they did. So. Yeah, I'm uh, suspended for three days from Reddit. From uh, all of Reddit, like from posting yeah, for, and up. Yeah, uh, I can't post and I can't upvote or downvote. I can literally just look around and that's about it. You can just lurk. Yeah, which honestly is not too much of a change for me, but it's more of, wow, you really want people to uh, tell you about uh, people buying votes, don't you? I just realized you're not here. Where did you go? Uh, I'm actually kind of far from you. Oh, uh, lag got me. I hit uh, the healing potion and uh, sent the teleporter to all me and killed me. I'm here, you teleporting guy. So is that the first time you've ever been banned from Reddit? Yep. I've been banned from various things on Reddit a couple of times, although I've never been banned from the whole of Reddit. I'm permanently banned from r slash the Donald because I posted 
a link to Trump bans things. You mean Trump, Trump humps things? things. Uh, Trump hum hum humps things. Bangs things. I thought it was humps things. No, it's trumpbangsthings.com. The Jester's arrows do a lot of damage to these guys. Yeah, I'm dropping off stuff quickly. Ow. Ow. We're probably going to have to do a sorting because I'm just uh, throwing things in and I know that I have at least a stack of uh, a couple of these elsewhere. It's just, you know, trying to get get it done quickly. I'll but yeah, I thought, but, I thought, but yeah, this is a site-wide uh, suspension. I got banned from r slash freebies once for something as well. I posted some to a link to something that was free, and they're like, no, this doesn't follow our policy guidelines, and I got banned for... Uh, how long was it? 24 hours, I think, from r slash freebies. Which is a little shocking. Maybe it's a... a I, I think their big thing is that if you have to pay to uh, get it, it uh, does it count for their site or for their subreddit? I do enjoy uh, hitting freebies because it's free, right? Yeah, I love free stuff. I've gotten a lot of free things from that subreddit that I have no interest in. Just I usually, free. I usually just stick to things that I'm interested in, but... Mm. One time I got... Um, what was it? When I was an undergrad, I was the president of the computer club. And there was a freebie that they had that if you were the president of a club, you could get a box for something. Some organization. It was a political organization. I don't I didn't really care but about the organization, but in the box there was a thing with um it had free dum dum suckers. It had like five hundred dum dum suckers in it. You were supposed to give them out at a, a rally or whatever. So I got him and kept a box of dum dum suckers for myself. <laughs> I believe I was a junior in college at the time. Those were very appealing. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get back to you. I'm I'm hanging on the ceiling. There don't seem to be any of those ranged guys spawning, and I just keep killing all of the the guys that try to jump at me. <coughs> I don't think there's any other subreddits I've been being from. Yeah, but the fact that it's a site wide ban is uh, amusing, huh? Yeah. Uh, and uh, I am, of course, assuming that's where it is. Here's the thing: is that I am a lurker, so uh, yeah. There's not a lot of things that it could have triggered off of. Yeah. And also, uh, I haven't uh, been told exactly what I did. Uh, they didn't tell me in the uh, mail that they sent me. Not asked uh, when it happened uh, about a day ago now, and they haven't gotten back to me. So I'm thinking that the three days is going to uh, expire before I actually find out what the hell I did. Why you were banned for three days? Yeah. I post to Reddit pretty frequently. Um, I do lurk a lot for sure, but. I, I post a lot as well. Hey, um, there you are. Yep. Hanging out. Grab your keys. And I got a new weapon. Is that a water cannon? Or a, a flamethrower that shoots blue flame? No, it's uh, an aqua uh, scepter. Oh, cool. Magic I call it the super weapon. soaker. Uh, shame I can't die at yellow. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I see what you did there. I stopped to scratch my hand for a second. I got shot. So... Yeah. Is this a dead end that we're hanging out in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not going to risk getting that golden chest. I'm not sure about you if you want to try it. I want to try it. Kill this guy first. I mean, actually, I could probably do it because I have the web uh, slinger. Yeah. Oh, you unlocked it. All 
Alright, I emptied the chest. Okay. Uh, oh, and I, I jumped into some spikes. And then you emptied your health? <laughs> well done, me. I was getting away from the big red thing on the floor. Well, while well, I'm here... Well, well, at least you'll be able to see stuff. what was in it. I mean, it was not a lot of good stuff. I, there were four tungsten bars. What is this, Valor? All right, that might be good. Valor, 22 melee damage. How about this? Instead of us trying to figure out where we oh, are... Oh, it's a yo-yo. We'll... Yeah, I just recalled back again. Actually, if we want to do something different... Uh, well, we would have to set up another room, but... I got a clother voodoo doll. Ancient... a what? A voodoo doll. What do you use the voodoo doll for? Uh, I, you killed the clother uh, NPC to resummon uh, the uh, Skeletron boss. Ah, so you want to fight that skeleton boss again? Uh, no, I was saying we could do that if we wanted to do something different, but the thing is that uh, you that's basically to just farm uh, drops from that boss, which there are a couple interesting ones. I got something called the Ancient Necro Helmet. Uh, most likely just a cosmetic item, but you can use it as regular armor. Yeah, it's got five defense, which is one better than my tungsten helmet, but I'd lose this set bonus, so I'm not going to equip it. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, sweet. You can kind of steer it. Oh, uh, that's the magic missile? Magic missile, yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's actually really handy for a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, once more into the breach. Yeah. Ah, pew. <laughs> Unfortunately, it uh, will Oops. explode on impact. I could really see the lag. Doesn't do very much. Oh, you can still shoot it. You can just shoot it, though. Yeah, I like this. Let's see. Let's just try it out for a while and see how well it does. Well, let's see. An Angry Bones banner. Yeah, that's... Demonic uh, Blue Moon. Oh, I got one of these, too. One of these mace things. Yeah. Uh, just drop off the banner. It's one of the items that uh, boosts uh, melee damage to a particular... Uh, NPC or to a, a various uh, enemy. <coughs> Do you need a lozenge? My drop that off. Tally counter displays how many monsters have been killed. Kind of neat. I like that. Yeah, uh, it's used uh, eventually to craft the cell phone. All right. Wait, I see a, a big lag spike whenever you use that. Or whenever, uh, uh, maybe I just happen to see one right there because, ooh, I, I had had a little bit of jitter. You know, this won't be very useful here, but this, just because of how many enemies there are. But that could be incredibly useful if you're just like out exploring. Kill one enemy real quick. Because it doesn't shoot fast enough. Unlike your water scepter. Oh. Only problem is that it absolutely decimates my mana. I'm gonna be that guy and point out that decimate means to reduce by one tenth. Well, technically it does. Ver uh, it just does it over and over again. It repeatedly decimates your your mana. Yep. Okay, it's this way. But thank you, Adrian Monk. <laughs> I love Monk. I haven't seen that show in forever, but I love it. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed on how they ended the show, but yeah. I don't think I ever finished it. It had what? How many seasons did it have? Five? Six? I think it had seven. Was it seven? Okay. 
I've definitely seen the first five seasons. I'm not sure on season six. And then if there was a seventh season, I've definitely not seen it. Yeah, I absolutely love Monk as well. Uh, but it, the overall mystery with his wife uh, felt very weak after they finally uh, uh, solved it. I, I think my big problem with it was that they were playing up the whole uh, all the clues mattered uh, angle, and in the end, it really didn't. I don't. I don't. When did he solve the mystery of his wife? The very final episode. Okay, then yeah, I have no idea what happened, so. I'm trying to think the last time I watched that show. It's been years. I mean, years. The last time I watched I'm going to have to school. ask, since uh, you are a therapist, how uh, realistic is the therapy in that show? Oh, gosh. I mean, I, the last time I watched it, I didn't even want to be a therapist. So, I would have to go back. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting lagged, too, now. I wonder if we're having connection I issues. How could you be having lag when you're the host? I'm having really bad lag. Although I suppose it could be frame drops if there's having if there's some kind of problem. Yeah, possibly. But I don't I don't know Rage about the therapy. I mean, the last time I watched the show, I was in high school. I didn't really want to be a therapist in high school. I'd have to go back and rewatch it. I just thought it was an interesting uh, question. Uh, can you actually dig uh, to the right here? Uh, my pickaxe, I don't think we'll uh, dig through it. But we're trying to connect to the, another side of here. I'm digging, Captain. Probably the most realistic therapy I've seen, and I mean, it makes sense for the show it is, is In Treatment. Have you ever seen In Treatment on HBO? No, never heard of it. It's a show specifically about a therapist. And most of the show is, is him doing therapy. Um, there are portions where there's other stuff that goes uh, on. I may want to get rid of one of those spikes Ooh. at the very end of that uh, hall, uh, tunnel that you just dug. <laughs> Ow. You're low health. Ooh. I just uh, Are you... got a money thing. A money thing? Oh, one of those random money drops that's like attached to the wall? Yeah. I got something called a godly handgun. Uh, it's uh, a handgun that's godly. It has the godly modifier <laughs> on it. All right, uh, it's still, it hasn't been long enough for me to use a health potion again. And I'm hurt pretty bad. I'm gonna stand here and try and heal up. Yeah, I'm gonna poke around a little bit. But yeah, in treatment's a show that's all about therapy, and it's pretty accurate. Uh, probably about 95, 90 to 95% correct. Oh, I got, like, <laughs> uh, some... Just crazy bouncing off four walls here. Oh, shit. Uh, to uh, hit these guys. Go. I destroyed the spikes so we could run through that tunnel. Yeah, it was just, I got to the end of it and hit spikes, so I thought it was, you know, prudent to destroy it. Oh, another water uh, candle. Do 
every so often I've seen chest. something uh, uh, popping up near my health and I'm not catching what it is. Oh, there's a trap right where I am. And I haven't disarmed it yet. Hang on. Okay. Trap disarmed. Okay. But there's another one uh, on the next tier down. Yeah, basically, don't run ahead of me right now. Okay. We're good to go. Matter of fact, if you... If you if you listen closely, whenever you're walking through this area, you can hear the uh, uh, the pressure plates go off. I'm not sure if I have my game volume turned up high enough to hear them. I keep the game pretty quiet. Uh, well, it's more I have the game turned up, I have you turned up higher. Yeah. Ooh, chest. Ow. Yeah, I'm immediately going for water candles. Yep, I just got a water candle as well. All right, there's a chest in this room. I got it, so it's empty now. Yeah, well, be sure to far uh, to harvest it. I did. I think there's only one chest I missed because I was getting attacked yeah. or something. So yeah, I grabbed and I the stuff tried and to ran. grab it. So uh, uh, then I grabbed it or uh, I picked it up. What is this? Can you come over here and look at this? Well, I have, uh, oh, what would we, uh, okay, uh, time to determine a name again. What would you call a bunch of angry bones? A skeleton? <laughs> a body. A politician. <laughs> what is this magic table, though? There's, like, a book floating over it. Uh, grab it. The witching table. What did I get? Quick magic staff. Ah. Uh, bewitching table is another uh, workshop item that we could uh, uh, put down and uh, have fun with. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it works like the magic missile too. So I can steer it around. But it shoots a lot faster. He's a lot more mana, though. <coughs> ah, go away, floating skull. Oh, I can't attack. There we go. Oh, I wish I had that cobalt shield right about now. Alright, I gotta come to you. You're below me. Hello, angry bones. Oh, I landed on spikes. Oh, what do you call a bunch of angry bones? The doctor on the Enterprise. Cute. <laughs> Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a poet. Is that you? Oh, yeah, it is you. Oh, just got another water bolt here. Uh, if you want a copy of it. Another what? Water bolt. Is that the thing that you had that's... Uh, that's water... like the, like this guy's uh, attack, only it bounces around. Yeah. 
fancy. I'm out of mana. I need a potion. Well, this is proving to be interesting, at least. What? Uh, the exploring. If we shut the door, can they open the door? Actually, I'm not sure. Yes, they can. It slows them down for a second, though. No, oh, this is a place I don't want to be. Why? Because of all those guys. Just keep swinging your sword, Ben. My sword doesn't have enough range to deal with the lag. I get hit, then I knock him back. Oh, you look a bad. Can you set this bad as a spawn point? Actually, I'm not sure. If you want to try it, go for it, but... I don't want to try it. You want the bed, though. Blue dungeon bed. Is this just a table? Yeah. My inventory full? Oh, yeah, my inventory is full. Time to put down the safe. Yep. Let me kill this guy. Yeah, I'll come back to you in just a moment. Ooh. Alright, I'll watch you while you deal with the save, then we'll swap off. Okay. Fight. Pull this off, and that, and that. Oh, sorry. The witching table. I don't need my hammer and my axe right now. I'm mostly just murdering things. Found a bunch of torches. Uh... Alright, got uh, safe. You, you could have left the safe down for me. Oh, can you use the same safe? Yeah. Oh. It's personal inventory. Oh, and here comes something. Jump. All right, there you go. Two have gotten seven uh, water candles so far. I had four. Well, basically, I've been watching the buff, and as soon as it, the debuff comes up, I start hunting for it. Oh, I got the trinket that uh, prevents uh, the curse, the thing that allows you to, or prevents you from attacking. Yeah. I'm out of mana. Sword, 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 sword. I love this water scepter. Ah, eh, nice. There you go. Got some mana back. Burns mana like crazy. I'm not going to worry about the uh, that trinket just now. I'll uh, make use of it later on. Okay. All set. Okay. Okay. 
You grabbed your safe, right? Yep. Okay. I'm seeing a uh, trap right below us. Or something uh, wired uh, right below us. Boy, I'm really cleaning the place up with this. <laughs> okay, well, this is uh, uh, where we came from. So, actually, we want to go this way. Oh, you passed the water candle. Oh, did I? Did you get it? Yeah. Uh, we don't have to harvest them. It just it makes the dungeon easier. I guess you'll grab then. I'll Ooh, see if I can get it. another chest later on. I guess. Bone welder. You already found one of those, didn't you? Yeah, but grab it anyway. Luggish aqua scepter. Is that That's what, you what said I have. You Only mine's mythical. So yours is better than mine. Uh, actually, I'm not 100 percent sure. 16 magic damage, 6% critical strike, average 19, minus 19 per split speed. Yeah, mine doesn't have a negative on it. Yeah, let's disarm another trap, and it looks like there's another dark trap above us. So watch out going into that. Uh, what is hallway. this? Uh, that's something for hard mode. Oh, okay. Hang on, let me disarm that. There we go. I love the green design. It feels almost cheating. Just thinking outside the box. Yeah, like here's another one. Oh, this means we're pretty far into the dungeon. Another one of those hard mode chests? Yeah. It looks like my uh, pickaxe can dig through these, so... Uh, it's just slow. Ooh, I found a cobalt shield. Nice. And a Mercer Mian. Yes, I grabbed that out from under you. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It may actually be better for me to use that than uh, my sword. Or my other sword. Just because of the range on it. Especially if I'm getting lag. Yeah. You're on spikes. Those are spikes. And there's a water candle right there you may want to grab. There you, go. Hey, you can just right click on him. You don't have to bring out the uh, shark. I wasn't sure about it. So I was saying mine it. Right across these spikes. This is this a statue of a treasure chest? Yeah, grab it. Uh, it's uh, something that we could play with later. Boink. What is this? Piano? That's nifty. I don't want that. Blue Dungeon Piano. Sing us a song of the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. I was actually listening to that while I was making dinner tonight. Good song. Billy Joel's awesome. Yes, he is. Okay, and I got a cobalt shield now. I'm happy about this. Spikes there. Yeah, well, uh, it was. I couldn't get through that with the lag. I'm getting some uh, weird jitter whenever I'm jumping. So I tried to use the web slinger and ended up hurting myself anyway. I wish the spikes hurt, hurt those dudes. Yeah, I feel so cheap. 
Maybe they only hurt us because we have flesh. Yeah, possibly. That's actually a good uh, uh, reason. Oh. You may want to get out of the doorway. Nope, too late. Oh, it only did 13 damage. That's not bad. Ow. Ow. Another hard mode chest. Blue dungeon bathtub. Now we are cleaning up. Okay, and we're back to where we've explored. Looks like we may have explored a good chunk of the dungeon, if not all of it. Map. Yeah, what's those little kind of rays coming up from at the bottom? Uh, what do you mean? Just uh, like where, the... uh, on the map? Yeah, it looks like there's kind of like some little shafts or something coming up from the very bottom. Uh, well, remember, you're seeing what the map has uh, shown you, so it's possible that the caster's uh, bolts have revealed extra uh, content to you. Oh, okay, like going through the floor. Yeah. And being able to see on the map. Exactly, and you're low health. Alright, so what do we want to do now, then? Oh, well, that's the question, because, uh, let's, it's getting about time anyway, let's recall, and then we'll take a closer look at the map uh, while we kind of clean up our inventories. Sound like a good idea? Yep. Uh-oh. Did I drop off my magic mirror? I think I dropped off my magic mirror. Well, I already recalled. Okay. Uh, I was in the process of, uh... Starting to recall whenever you said that. So, um, guess, uh, you, you go down, uh, uh, go down from there? I just died. Or? I did, or, I mean, I didn't do it on purpose. I was gonna try and pull out the safe and <laughs> grab it, but I got hit with the curse where I couldn't attack. Yeah, you know, I was about to say, uh, go down, then, uh, you're in the, uh, to the, go to the right, and you would have went, ooh, okay. Uh, uh, this is the event that we haven't done yet. Get out and start killing things. Okay. There's going to be slums all over the place. Make sure you have some uh, room in your inventory, because this is fun. Slime is falling from the sky. Why is slime falling from the sky? It's a slime shower. Have you ever heard of bringing cats and dogs? Yes. Here it's raining slums. What triggers this? Random event. Oh. And we actually Wait. want to do this for a reason. You'll find out why in a little bit. That sounded ominous, didn't it? It did sound ominous. Oh good, I'm in it that way. Is it ominous? Uh, just make sure you have full health. Or as uh, full of health as you can manage. But this is the last uh, random event that we haven't taken part of uh, together. And this is actually didn't, uh, this is the first time this is triggered in this world. It didn't trigger during my offline uh, sorting. Ooh, Pinky. Pinky is Brilliant a rare pink. slime that. No, no. Pinky is a rare slime that gives you a fair amount of gold, and it has a different uh, uh, gel to it. Well, I got an achievement called Pretty in Pink. So I'm assuming yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah, that's killing Pinky. Yeah, maybe the brain is around here somewhere. The brain? Please oh. tell me. <laughs> uh, it I took me a second, because I was thinking of something, like, related to the event, and then I was like, oh, Pinky and the brain. Yeah, well, at least we'll have all the banners now. Make our base look pretty. Uh, we actually went through the dungeon a lot faster than uh, I thought we would. 
Granted, I, I do think we missed a little bit of it. But I think we got a good chunk of the dungeon done. But the thing is also, I don't think we got all the loot. So we have a couple options here. Okay. One is that we uh, create a farming world. And just basically unlock the dungeon immediately and rebuild a uh, storage uh, facility like we have, have here. And do uh -huh. another dungeon run on a fresh dungeon. Taking our golden keys with us so we'd have a bit of a head start on that. The other option, uh, and this is for dungeon specific loot by the way, is to um, dig a hole and fill it with water. Dig a hole and fill it with water inside the dungeon? Yes, uh, another fishing spot. You want me to flood the dungeon now, after you told me not to last time? <laughs> well, I didn't think we would uh, finish the dungeon so quickly and not get all the loot. I'm, at least I'm, I'd have to, uh, we'd have to sit down and really figure it out. It, but flooding the dungeon is actually an option now. Or at least partly flooding it, I should say. Okay. Being uh, slime has awoken. Yeah. Is this what you were talking about? Yep. Boss time. Oh, that's a shark. That's a laser. No, I'm out of mana. Is, in, is there a person inside of him? His crown fell off. You're low health. Yep, I was You're just low low health. I was trying to. I'm actually low health. Oh, I can't spawn. Oh, uh, because of the boss going on? I assume so. I can't move. I can't. Oh, I respawned. I guess maybe the spawn timer is longer on the boss. Why can't I? Don't, why don't I have any mana? That's fine. I'll just sit here and stab him with my sword. Yay! Uh, and you got all the loot. So, uh, get anything good? I I don't know. Iron skin potion, water leaf, silver ore, ninja hood, solidifier? Solidifier is used to make a, a slum uh, furniture, so another thing for the workshop. Um, and then I got slime hook. Oh, okay, you want slime hook. Uh, equip that. Uh, that's a, a replacement for your grappling hook. It's actually one of the things I was hoping we'd get, considering I have the web, sli uh, the web slinger. It's an upgrade. Yay! Climbing. Yeah, the King Slime could uh, spawn uh, randomly, but he's usually from the... Uh, slime rains, which is... Wow, I was very glad to see that. <laughs> Alright. Well, I need to drop down. Yep, I put my my magic mirror inside my safe. Like a dummy. No, well, it's not like I got you killed or it. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna get in the, in the safe? Uh, yeah, we could both access the safe, I think. Uh, you're in the safe, right? Yeah. Yeah, we both access the safe because it's personal inventory. Godly handgun. I'm assuming that requires bullets, which I don't have yeah. any bullets. Uh, good thing Tony's here. Talk to me.
But it looks like we've pretty much cleared out the dungeon, which is a little shocking. Let's see, so I should get 27 damage, 7, 20, plus 18% damage, plus 5 critical strike chance, plus 15%. Hm. Give me some more bullets, Tony. Oh yeah, buying them bullets. Maybe about too many bullets. You never have too many. Come here, enemies. So I want to shoot somebody and test it. Yeah, oh, I run slow again. Oh, you know that you could, uh... Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I, well, I was going to say grab your boots, but I'm fairly sure that the boots can be combined with the Ankh shield. Or with the Cobalt shield, I mean. The Ankh shield is a different uh, item. We'll have to test it out when we get back to the base. I got my speed shoes. Um, I'm done screwing around with that. Yeah, I'm um, uh, pretty much dumped off everything. Yeah, yeah let's take a look it. at the map. Uh, I do see a couple rooms that at least I didn't go into. Mm. But they're right at the edge of the map, so they're dead ends. Oh, I actually spotted a, uh, see a life crystal on the map, but requires basically going into the dungeon then digging down and I'm not sure that's really worthwhile I see one spot that looks like I didn't go that way um kind of on the left side yeah it looks like we zigzag. definitely got bottom on the uh, dungeon though this actually feels like a small dungeon is the uh World generation just screwing us over again? I don't know. Maybe. If we dug through the bottom of the dungeon, what's below the dungeon? Just more regular map? Yeah, it'll go to regular map unless there's a push in the map uh, or have it cut off. But I was able to see some below the dungeon just uh, via the casters casting there. And it's just regular caverns. Yeah, let's put it this way. On my single-player world, the dungeon extends low enough that I could see lava uh, around it. So either I got an extraordinarily large map, which is possible, or we got a uh, small dungeon this time. Also possible, and we've been screwed over by world generation before, so... Yeah. The game world has it out for us. So, uh, I think off screen, I'm going to transfer or do the transfer of all the stuff over. And what we probably should do is before recording this next one, and uh, unless you want to wrap up for the evening. And yes, I know um, this is probably best to talk about off screen, but yeah, what the hell at this point, right? Yeah, what the hell? Why not? Uh, tr uh, just take what we really want to uh, move over for now. Destroy uh, the... Basically take out the chairs here so the NPCs to, can no longer spawn here and force them back to the main base. And then just do the uh, rest of the sorting off screen. I mean, granted, we didn't get a lot of stuff, which is a little surprising. Yeah, we didn't get a ton of stuff. I got, this is interesting, I got something called Gravitation Potion. Ooh, okay, um, uh, you want to hold on Allows control of gravity. Y yeah, okay. do not use those. Uh, we'll only have one. Yeah, we want to stock up on those. I think we have a couple at base. 
Basically, that allows us to hunt down floating islands. It's, uh, it's the easy way to do it. Fancy. I think I remember you telling me about that actually now. As yeah, a matter of fact, I could see if there's any nearby. Looks like there's at least none near here, but then again, we are towards the edge of the map. So you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> I grappled back to the ground. Because that works in just calls, why not here? Indeed. So I think it's about time to wrap things up anyway, so where can they find you online? Well, you can find me online if you're not watching this on my YouTube channel, over on YouTube at Gaming Psychologist. You can find me on Twitter at JMA4707. And you can find me streaming over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jarthur4707. What about you, buddy? And on YouTube, you can find me at Gaming with Caffeine Rage. On Twitter, Gaming with CR. And, well, I'm not on Twitch outside of when you're streaming. <laughs> and, of course, we're both on the podcast, Gaming uh, Video Game Logic, which comes out every Friday. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Which means it's time for me to say bye bye now. See you next time. Waving. Bye. <laughs>